Hey guys, Wiley Lewis here, the Fast Break Kids. Uh, a couple weeks ago we saw Jared hit us with that sweet tutorial on sleeping, the ins and outs, and everything you need to know about getting a good night's sleep. I saw that and I thought, you know, there's more. There's more we can teach. So uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys the ins and outs of another very important thing that we find in our lifetimes, and that is keeping good cleaning habits. If there's anything that I definitely have, it's good cleaning habits. Come aboard the SS Fast Break Kids. Toot toot. And we're going to clean up some crap. First, we're going to talk about a very important thing, flooring carpeting. Nobody's going to step into your apartment or your house if the flooring is gross. A lot of people will tell you you need one of these bad boys right here. Very important. Uh, supposedly, I'm here to shock some people, okay, I've done some research and it turns out that vacuums, yeah, they pollute the environment. They have to kill a lot of animals to make them. They even may make you sterile. So I'm just saying right now, I, that's what I heard. I've got some alternatives, maybe some life hacks if you want to say. Uh, they're pretty effective though, so let, let's check those out right now. First, first technique is uh, a move I like to call the chimp and go. Everybody has seen a nature documentary, and we've seen how chimps, they're just so smart and intuitive, and they work together to pick bugs and pieces of whatever out of their mate's hair, and they get to eat it. So I thought I would take that knowledge and put it into my cleaning habits. And so here's how the chimp and go works. You see, we've got food here. I, I vacuumed over this carpet already vastly superior, one of the top brands. Still, bits of stuff I can see embedded in the carpet, okay? But here's how the chimp and go works. So you pick, you go individually through the carpet, okay? And then you see, see, look at, look at this. Look at that, piece of corn. Well, not a corn kernel. Now let's say the chimp and go, for whatever reason, maybe you're gluten-free or you're left-handed, it just doesn't work for you, that's okay. There's another technique you can use. What you're gonna need is some sort of tape or if you're feeling frosty, glue. And you're gonna wanna cover your entire body with it. And then you're just gonna roll around. You're just gonna move throughout, throughout the carpet until you get all, all of that stuff hosed myself off, boom, hallways clean. That doesn't work, or the chimp and go, just take a blade and just cut out all your carpet. All right, so let's move forward now. Uh, let's talk about furniture. First, let's look at the couch, all right? Now, obviously you can look at my head right here, my hair, yeah, no, that's, that, you made, Wiley, <laughs> did you forget to take a shower today? No. Think about Albert Einstein, crazy hair, right? Yeah, because he was a genius. So let's just uh, get rid of that notion that I don't know what I'm doing or that I just forgot to do my hair. Oh, look, oh, what's that? Is that a hole in the couch? Oh my gosh, a hole, in the no, no. This is a cleverly disguised food pocket system built into the couch. I'm really hungry, okay? I'm, I'm darn near starving. All right, now what do I do? Uh, boom, food pocket. Okay, if you don't have a food pocket on your couch, I'm just saying right now, you're an idiot. I'm smart using my mind, okay, folks? That's gonna be a common theme throughout this video. So, uh, couch pockets, very important. Completely change your life. 2020 girls camp. Okay, here we go. Let's see. All right, guys. Next up is the toilet. Okay, very important to keep it clean. You never know. Who is that? Oh! All right. Up next is the bedroom. Okay, how do we make our bed? What's the important thing about that? First of all, you got to be the bed. All right, you gotta be a part of it, you gotta understand it. And the only way to really do that is to get into the bed. Now watch carefully, okay? 
this can get a little complicated. Next thing you gotta do is you have to sleep in that bed. I know 10 to 15 hours, all right? Uh, I'll be back. I, I am so enlightened right now. Now, what's the next move? We need a snack. Mm. Ah, yeah, okay. Let's say you finish that. Take another nap. Boom. Bed's made. Well, folks, that's it for me. Uh, I'm Wiley, once again, for the Fast Break Kids. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And also, be sure to take these building blocks that I have given you and build a better life. Not just for you, but for the people that you love. Anyways, as always, keep it clean, keep it fresh, and keep it fun. I'll see you next time. Ooh.